Welcome to Super Agents Live. This is the one place where you can come and hear the most successful people in real estate. You'll hear how these super agents have built their businesses, how they stay productive, and how they stay motivated. Who am I? My name's Toby Salgado, and I made my first million in real estate. Yeah. And I'm your host for the next 30 minutes while we talk to yet another amazing real estate yeah. entrepreneur. Stay tuned. Let's go. Yeah. Ladies and gentlemen, guys and gals, hey, thank you so much for tuning in to Super Eden's Live. I really appreciate you spending your valuable time with me. If you are new to the show, welcome. What we do on this show is talk about real estate. Okay, um, today's episode is, uh, I, I re-listened to it again, it's really good. We really talk a lot about marketing, but specifically, here's what we do. We talk about building a team how to build a team, why you should build a team, how to build a team, okay? Uh, and this particular guy has a team in place because uh, he gets about 800 leads per month. Now, how does he do that? It's pay-per-click Google advertising. So we dig into that. How do you build those ads? How much should you spend? What should that campaign look like? We also talk about really sort of some technical stuff, right? Um, landing pages and why you should get a little more technical uh, with your business. You know, and again, we talk about marketing, and as I listen to this for the second time, uh, the, the, the bigger theme that came out of this for me was, we really talk about how to build your sales funnel. So, stay tuned, you're gonna love it. Before we get there, let's hear from our sponsor. We all know the best kind of referral is one from our sphere or farm. But how do we stay top of mind? Now, most people, they take a three-pronged approach, right? They door knock in their farm, they call people, and they mail them. Most people fall down by not getting to their people, their sphere, their farm. They don't get them engaging content. And look, you know, sure, we can list them a postcard or we can send an article that we think is gonna be of interest to them. Our new sponsor, Discover Publications, takes that one step further. For just slightly more than the cost of a stamp, Discover Publications creates a completely customized newspaper. Now they'll go out and they'll curate content or you can create your own. All of my sponsors are white labeled. Now I called, prior to having them on the show, I called some of Discover Publications clients and I talked to this one guy and he does some interesting things. He'll go out and interview restaurants that are in his farm, in his sphere. He creates a write-up. He, interestingly enough, resells advertising in his own newspaper to his trusted network, whether that's the plumber or the insurance agent. And by the way, this guy has 60% market penetration. He told me the paper has cemented those numbers. If you're interested, go check out discoverpubs.com. Let me know what you think. Before we get to the content, uh, really quickly, uh, just a few, few things. One hashtag. The show's hashtag is unpack that idea. Use it when you tweet and you will get more followers. Um, really quickly, uh, in Jul uh, July 18, here in San Diego, we're going to have a live event. Now, now only 10 people can come to this live event. It's only 150 bucks. We're going to rent a suite. We're going to get some food, and we're going to mastermind all day. So if you think you want to... Do you want to level up in your business? Um, send me an email, and uh, you know I, I'm really trying to get the right group of people, and uh, and we are going to have at least one star guest from the show. Uh, and then the last thing too is, uh, you know, um, I have one more spot for coaching. So again, man, everything is about investing in yourself. Everything is about learning more. Um, so if you if you think you want to build your business faster, better. Uh, send me an email and we'll see if you and I are a good fit. Uh, okay, let's get to the show. Hey, Dennis, thanks for taking the time out today. Sure, no problem, Toby. Good to be here. Yeah. So listen, everybody knows I, in the intro, I gave everybody a brief overview of your background, but take a minute, tell us a little bit about yourself and uh, and your business. You know, we've, we've been in, I've been in business actually for 20 years. I'm originally from Boston. Um, I did real estate back there and I've been out here in San Diego for about 16 years. And about 10 of those years is really running a team, uh, learning the ups and downs, the pitfalls, the, the, you know, the wins of running a team, which 
uh, there, there's quite a few things to learn <laughs> over those course of those years. Yeah, well, I mean, there's a lot. I mean, you know, you have to be able to spot talent. You have to be able to to develop talent. And look, teams is a big deal, right? I mean, that's that's kind of the the big deal right now. I've had some people on the show, um, and I'm I'm thinking specifically Mike Ferry, and he was uh, he he is really against the team concept. I mean, he didn't believe in it, like you know. And uh, but you know maybe like what do you think some of the in, in terms of building a team you know what are the some of the, some of the challenges that you face uh, and uh, and what do you think some of the upside is as well as the downside? Well, you know you know the upside obviously is that you're delegating and you don't have to be there for every single uh, buyer you don't have to or seller you don't have to work Sundays um, Saturdays you know if you get it to the level where we're getting close to being there where you know really it's just a managing kind of role as opposed to actually going on listings and uh, buyer appointments. So that's a real big advantage I see of running a team. Obviously, it's the money. Uh, the downside is, you know, it, it's very difficult. You could lose a lot of money in the beginning until you really get it down. Um, but besides that, you know, I don't believe anybody that, you know, I, I don't know what people are thinking, but, you know, running a team is it's not easy. But if you do it properly, it's definitely the way to go for, for an agent. Well, so you said that some of the upside is, you know, you, I mean, I, I totally get that you don't have to work weekends. That's awesome. Um, and, uh, and you don't have to go and listen to presentations. But, um, and basically, when you hire a team, you're fundamentally building a business, right? You're building a company rather than you're just, you know, the, the solo agent out there basically just bought himself a job. A uh, job, basically, right. Yeah, but, but. You know, in so you you know you you paid money to for your marketing outreach, and we can talk about what you do in marketing. You know, so every lead you get, you paid for, and now you're going to outsource that lead and and care of that lead and conversion of that lead to somebody on your team. I mean, don't you think if you were out there doing the listing presentations, you, you're going to be more effective than than that person? One hundred percent accurate. Of course, I'll I'll always do better. Then, and not to you know, not to brag, but I know I can do better than pretty much every agent that I'll hire, uh, no matter how good they are. Especially on a listing presentation, I, you know, pretty much don't lose any listing presentations that I go on. Um, however, you know, if you're doing big numbers, you know, over 100 sales a, a year, you really can't go on every single listing presentation, um, and or you know, buyer presentation. Really, we do buyer presentations as well. So hmm. uh, that's the real advantage. You know, obviously, it's training. You need to find that agent that has, you know, that checks all the right boxes off their personality to be able to do it. They don't really need past experience. We pretty much hire on personality alone. So, you know, this guy could have been selling cable door to door. Those are some, some of the best people they ever have. Or a bartender, for instance, they might have the best personality for real estate sales as opposed to somebody that's been in a business for 10 years that's a good solid mid producer. Right. Now, so are you doing 100 transactions? Uh, this year, this year we're going to cross 100 transactions. Correct. Got it. Got it. Interesting. Um, so, uh, what kind of volume? I mean, you have a relatively high, uh, uh, higher end, I should say, um, uh, a sale price. I mean, what kind of what kind of volume are you going to do this year? You know, th this year so far, uh, what we have in escrow and what has closed, our average sales price is 848,000. Uh, we did 26.3 million, and we did 31 transactions so far this year through March. So you'll end up at a, a hundred million this year. Oh, we should okay. right around there. Mm -hmm. All right. So eight hundred forty average, eight hundred forty-eight uh, with a hundred transactions. So you have the system down. You have it all scripted out. You just find somebody with the right temperament and just plug them into your system. How are you <clears throat> to get a hundred deals? That's a lot of leads. What do you talk to us a little bit about your marketing and and how you uh, you know what that lead looks like. Yeah, so, so really, you know, we, we target certain we're, – we're in La Jolla, California, which is a suburb of San Diego, uh, very high-end coastal community. So we, we target three particular communities. We target Carmel Valley, which is a kind of a, a high-tech center. We target Rancho Santa Fe, and we target La Jolla. So we, we do all pay-per-click marketing, okay, and we spend approximately $8,000 per month on pay-per-click. Our average cost per lead is about $10. So for that eight thousand dollars, we'll get about eight hundred leads per month. Wow, that's about our that's about our stat. Yeah, it's a, it sounds really expensive. It'll probably some some agents might fall off their chair when they hear that amount that we spend per month. But you know the proof's in the pudding. When you can actually close that many deals, uh, you know you're making a profit. 
For sure. Well, I mean, look, so you, I, I love that, you know, one of the things that comes up on the show a lot is to track everything. Um, you know, your, uh, you know, and, and it really people don't know uh, what their product, a lot of people, you know, what, what was your production? I don't know, you know, uh, and then all the way down to, okay, cost per lead and then cost per sale. So, <clears throat> so t- just run it down one, one level deeper. So we know your leads are 10 bucks. What is your cost per sale? You know, I don't have that right in front of me. Got it. Okay. That's okay. You tricked me. I try to trick you. I should have that though. Yeah. Um, so pay per click. Now, when did you start doing pay per click? We, we started doing pay per click about six years ago. And um, you know, there's a few different. You can do your own Google AdWords account. You could do. Uh, it's a company called Home Gain up in San Francisco. They're another uh, good source of leads. Um, so you know, there's a few different ways. Home Gain basically will charge you a monthly fee. Uh, they will. You provide them the landing pages that you want for your site, and then they basically direct the traffic. Now, with, if you do your own Google AdWords account, you actually have to develop your own pay-per-click campaign, which, which is really tricky for the average person. And to be honest with you, I did not do it myself. I hired somebody to do it for me. So. Interesting. Um, uh, yeah, well, look, so it's not, I've done it. It's not that hard. It's, you know, as long as you can optimize for what keywords you're going to be, uh, you know, uh, paying for i mean that's that's the hard piece um so you hired somebody so it's all now what about facebook ads do you do facebook ads or no you know i'm hearing a lot from some of the other top agents i, I cheap. talk to every month yeah they're you know they're really having some great success i tried it for about two months about about five months ago we tried it for about two months and my 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 i just did not have any success with it i don't know if i was doing something wrong i'll probably revisit it you know pretty soon and try one more time and maybe tweak something here and there, but you know, for me, it just didn't work out well. Got it. Now, um, that, uh, so you, so you, I know all those areas, obviously I'm in San Diego. So Carmel Valley, Rancho Santa Fe, La Jolla, those are th- three relatively different audiences. Correct. Um, do, are your ads on your pay-per-click? I mean, do you, how, t- how do you develop those ads? And then, uh, talk to us about, you, look, I want to get to, I want you to talk, explain la- how you use your landing page, but you, how, how does uh, Home Gain or whoever creates your ads for your pay per click, um, do they, is it for Carmel? Like, tell us how they, what that looks like for you. Yeah, so basically, you know, our Google AdWords account, uh, you know, if you're, if you're searching for Carmel Valley Homes, for instance, will we'll be one of the ads, one of the many that are thrown in there. Um, you know, and then the, the, the real key, this is, and, you know, I'll give out one of my secrets. It's pretty basic, really, but this is really where agents drop the ball. So if you, if you, Toby, you're searching for a home in, you know, let's say Carmel Valley, you click on that ad, you, you'll, be directed to re, you'll be directed to my landing page for Carmel Valley. So Carmel Valley would be populated in the section that you're looking at, and all the homes, all the pretty pictures that you see are for Carmel Valley. Yeah. Most agents drop the ball there. So they'll, you know, they'll do an ad for, let's say, Carmel Valley. They click on it, the customer clicks on it, and it goes to their main page on their website, right. usually with a pretty picture of them and a nice looking website, but it requires work for that internet consumer to go look for a Carmel Valley home. And they're usually three clicks away. And by then you might've lost them. Right. Yeah. I totally agree yeah. with that. So, <clears throat> so th- this, uh, this landing page, people just now, I mean, landing pages have been popular for a while in the tech world. And just now are eight real estate realtors. Uh, understanding what it is and how to use it. So you, you know, so you're gonna you're gonna uh, you have those three landing pages. One that looks very much like Rancho Santa Fe. One that looks like La Jolla. One that looks like Carmel Valley. And and the the goal when people hit that landing page is for you to capture their information. And so you have to do a giveaway. What what do you give away to capture their info? So you know, there, there's been a lot of studies done. Um, some some agents go by the you know the the theory that they just let people search. They they get the addresses of the home, they see all the pictures, and hopefully they sign up because they like what they're getting, which really, if you're, you know, if you're spending the big box on pay-per-click, that's a poor way of doing it. So the way we do it is as soon as you click on a property, it'll, it'll bring you to that property, then all of a sudden we have, a, we have the, um, the pop-up that pops up, and basically you have to fill in the information to see anything further. Got it. Okay. So it's an, it's an immediate capture. So you click on it, you have to sign up to go any further. And we found... You know, some people don't agree with it, but you know, we've found we've tried, we've split tested it several times, and that is the best way to capture a lead. Period. And we capture it about right, right, about ten to eleven percent consistently 
on our landing pages, which is very, very high. The industry average is about six to seven. So, I mean, you're a tech guy. I mean, I mean, how did you did is this stuff that you did you just hire the right marketing team to to create this for you, or who who came up with this this method for you? Really, really nobody. I mean, I get you know I get tips from people across the country. Um, I know some some mavericks really in the you know the internet marketing. Uh, Mitch Ribback in Florida is a good friend. Um, I know Mitch. So, yeah, Mitch is Mitch is a maverick in this in this aspect of um, internet marketing for real estate for several years now. And you know he'll he'll give me tips here and there. And um, I, I listen I listen wholeheartedly to everything that people tell me. So I'm not really a tech guy. I just know that. You know, ninety probably ninety five or higher percentage of people right now start on the internet to look for a home. So why not be there? Right, right. And what Mitch does with his landing page is a little bit different. He 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 does house values. So you you know you, he he throws ads up to you uh, for Carmel Valley, um, and then uh, and then uh, he directs you to a, a Carmel Valley house values page, and and that's that's the, what he does to get people's <clears throat> info. Okay, right. So so you're spending. Uh, a bunch of dough, you know. You're spending a yeah. hundred ninety six thousand dollars a year. A hundred thousand dollars a year you're giving to Google. Um, yeah. Not everybody can do that. So, right. So, you know, what is a, if somebody wanted to go down this route? Uh, you know, and they're going to try to. They, they, you know, they hear Dennis and they're like, "Hey, that, this guy's brilliant." Um, what kind of a budget do I like? A minimum budget do I need for for me to see some success? Yeah, I mean, you know, it, it, again, it all depends on the person. Um, you know, a lot, a lot of agents that I deal with, they can't stomach spending, you know, no offense, but $200 a month on some kind of lead generation form, which, you know, that, that's okay. That's their budget. I, I would think you need, to answer your question, Toby, I would think you need to at least start with about $1,000 a month. Right. Yeah, and, and you'll, you'll get results. You know, it's not going to be – the other big thing where, where, you know, the agents I speak to out there have struggle with is they really – they give it a one shot. They'll maybe spend their five hundred or a thousand dollars that one month. They don't get any results that month. They'll get leads, but they don't get, you know, escrows opened, and they give up. You know, yeah. you can't do that. Some, you know, it could be on that second second month that you all of a sudden get five or six sales on the board. You know, right? You have to be consistent. I mean, so look, if you're going to spend a thousand, I mean, here's what I would say: if you're going to spend a thousand bucks, you need to have five thousand dollars in your account sitting there that you allocate toward it at least because you need to you need to have this run this campaign for five or six months you know you, Absolutely. You, right so you can't get data um, so in terms of I, I you know um it's amazing to me uh, look i mean theoretically i understand why this works and how it works but <clears throat> um um i wouldn't necessarily think that you would be converting people in rancho santa fe and for everybody out there rancho santa fe is you know like uh, we have 20 million dollar houses out there um, where does this work? Are, are you seeing it work more in Carmel Valley? And then, you know, you understand what I'm getting at? Yeah. Yeah. You know, it told me to be honest with you, it works everywhere. everywhere. Our, our highest sales every single year, without a doubt, is from an internet lead. Not, you know, not all our sales are internet driven. You know, a good 80% of them are. But year in and year out, our highest sales are always internet leads. So, uh, you know, last year we closed a $12 million oceanfront house in La Jolla to an internet. Person. Unbelievable. <laughs> yeah, right, exactly. Oh, man. Uh, it's, okay, yeah. look, so that's, that's, I think everybody got, I mean, that's, they're drooling right now going, hey, I'm going to go try to figure out Google pay per click. Um, <clears throat> and, and look, and if people don't have a big budget, go to Facebook. Facebook ads are cheap and you, and sure. you can get very, very targeted. You know, so for you, Dennis, you know, you're, you're out there, you're hiring people, you put them through your training process. You know, is there one theme as you as you work with new people in the business? You know, what is the thing that, that most people get wrong? Is there is there a thing that you know when people come into the business, they just trip over over and over again? Well, you know, the the really if, if you're doing if we're talking about internet lead generation, not just you know general agent behaviors, um, internet lead generation really it comes down to to conversion. You know, most agents, and I've seen it happen before a million times, and I used to be this way before I hired an inside salesperson, you know, you would get a lead, uh, you'd call them once, get a voicemail, and then you give up. Or you say, I'll call them tonight, and then all of a sudden you get busy, tonight turns into tomorrow, and then all of a sudden you have two more leads piling, or two or three more leads piling on your desk, and you don't end up calling any of them. So, you know, the, the real big thing that I can tell everybody out there, if you're generating leads on the Internet, you need a sustainable system where you call them at least eight times. 
If you call them eight times at different times of the day and you don't get a hold of them, then you can discard them and throw them away. So I call them eight times. Do I leave a message every time or, or? Well, we, we call from different, you know, we'll, we'll call from a block number the first okay. time. We'll okay. call from the office line the second time. Third time, we might call from a cell phone. So you don't always call from the same number, number one. Okay. Uh, you know, and, you know, you'll leave your me- we typically leave a message on a third or fourth call if we don't get a hold of them. But, again, I want to really stress, Toby, that you don't – most agents do this. They'll come in and they'll pick their, you know, 9 to 10 o'clock. This is when I call people back yeah. if they're that structured. And they'll call Toby, for instance, you know, between 9 and 10 eight times. But Toby's at work, and you're calling his home number. So, obviously, he's not going to pick it up. So – you know, you need to call you from 9 to 10 in the morning, maybe from 6 to 7 at nighttime, and then on the weekend. Just you have to mix up the times that you call people. Right. I, I wholeheartedly agree. Um, and I'm just I'm – just, uh, do, you, do you collect their uh, – their, sorry, I'm typing while I'm talking. Um, do you yeah, collect their, their uh, location, their home address? Do you try to get that or you just get their phone number and email? We don't. We don't. We just get their phone number and email. And, you know, again, the critical part there is phone number. You know, and, you know, approximately, unfortunately, approximately 40 to 50% of the leads that we get give us bad phone numbers. But that's just the cost of doing business. Right. Right, 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 right. Okay, yeah, I was looking at one of Mitch's, one of Mitch's crazy sites. Um, God, and, like, I get on that site, and uh, I don't know, he, he, he ties it into the IDX, but it just slows down my machine. I don't know what he's doing back there. <laughs> <clears throat> Okay. Good. Very good. Um, so, uh, so we, yeah, follow up. Fortunes in the follow up. Um, I know I was just saying if you could somehow get their, uh, get their home. You know, I mean, I would call, 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 show up. Right. You know, so you've been at this for sixteen years. You've been building a team and working on teams for ten years. You know, if you had to start all over. Well, hold on. What did you do before this? I mean, you came from Boston. I can hear that Boston when you say internet, by the right, way. Right, right. Well, well, I did. I actually have been in real estate for over 20 years. So I did, I did real estate back there. And prior to that, you know, I owned a sub shop. I went to college, did some construction work. So, you know, it's kind of a mixed bag of things until I fell into real estate like most everybody else does. Yeah. <laughs> and it was your passion? I mean, was it, was it, what about it? Is it, is it that you get to own you know, your schedule or? You know, it, it's, it's not. It's not my passion, that's for sure. But, you know, I, I think if you're systematic and you know what you do, I mean, basically, if you, you know, copy a plan that somebody has that works, you know, and you copy it to the T, and you're, you're going to get results. And, you know, it's, it's a good living. It really is. It's a, it's a good way to make money. And, you know, now we, you know, pretty, very flexible schedules. And, you know, it's, I don't know anything else I can make this kind of money at, to be honest with you, unless I went to school to become a doctor and even then i might not make it you're not going to make you're not going no way <laughs> no way I, I guarantee you my my general you know doc doesn't make as much money as i have right, um, right. so so you have uh, i mean i i love i love what you're doing I mean, you are actually building a business you, you know you're you're collecting leads uh you know on the internet you're hiring a team um, you know, you're not out there knocking on doors, which we always hear go knock on doors and it works, but you figured out another way. Um, the deal with knocking on doors, Dennis, right? Because we're in the business of no's, right? I mean, real estate is a, right. you know, you hear it all the time. You get rejected. And sometimes you have those, those days or weeks or whatever, where you're like, man, I don't know if I can do it again. You know, with the way you have structured your business, I mean, do you ever feel like that or is it just, you know, just forward March for you? Uh, you know, I mean, you know, some days you get, you know, some, some, some days aren't always great. I mean, it's just the way it goes. It's ups and downs. You know, and the free agent that we, that we hire on our team, you know, we basically tell them that you're going to have ebbs and flows in, in your business. But, you know, the, the way our system is, you know, set up where we generate leads. Yeah, keep in mind, most, most Internet leads, some of them, are mo- you know, the good chunk of them are year out. Okay, so that's one thing I really want to get across there. Interesting. You'll get some, yeah, you'll get some ready-to-act people. But the vast majority are, you know, you know, I'd say within that 8 to 16 month range. That's the big chunk of your internet leads, which, you know, it sounds bad because you're not getting an immediate fill. But let me tell you, it's always good to be the first guy talking to them. So, you know, it's just, a, again, there goes your follow-up. You just need to follow up with them for quite some time, but they'll turn into a, be, be a big sale. Uh, that $12 million sale, for instance, that was a, a lead that was about three years old. Wow. Yeah, and it's just a constant follow-up, you know, and, you know, most agents probably never call these people back, and, you know, we just stayed on it. That's it. That's, it's really that dogged persistence of staying on top of your leads. 
Well, so but how, so how did you follow up with that person for three for thirty six months? You know, it, it's it's a we use a system called Zerpel. Uh, I don't know if anybody else is using it out there. I've heard a local of it. Company. Yeah, yeah, local company here in um, Carlsbad. And th- their system's pretty good, and I'll tell you why. We, you know, you throw a lead in there, and they have an email system where if a lead comes back to you for a certain amount of, let's say they look at a house three times, it'll send them a specific email regarding that home. And it's kind of like a babysitter, really. So we consider them our, our, you know, the best babysitter we've ever seen in real estate. So we'll put a lead in there. So to answer your question, we do follow up with phone. You know, every three months we'll call them. And then also in this email campaign that this company, Zerpel, developed, it kind of keeps in touch with them via email, and it looks like it's a personal email coming from me. So we kind of get them by email and by phone. So, uh, okay, email by phone. I mean, again, I love the way you – I mean, you kind of have this deal automated, and I I, I want to talk about your hiring process in a second. But so you, we know you get a lead. You need to call them at least eight times before you throw it in the garbage. Um, so at the, th- you, you, but you, throughout the year, you'll touch them four times. You'll call them every three months. So you call them for, uh, I, you call me through, you know, it's three months. You call me, Dennis. I don't pick up. Do you, when you say, do you, is it just a call or do you make sure you contact them every three months and speak with them? Um, you know, I'll call you if I don't get a hold of you, I'll probably call you the next day at a different time. And then if I don't get a hold of you, I'll leave a voicemail. And Got then it. sometimes I'll just send a personal email myself through my personal email account. Just to let you know, hey, Toby, I left you a voicemail, you know, just checking in and just, you know, a couple other things that we say. Mm-hmm. Got it. So your business, again, I said it was automated. I mean, it, it's, it, it seems like it's infinitely scalable because, you know, $8,000 a month equals 800 leads, you know, so double that, right? You throw in 16 grand, that's going to be 1,600 leads. Now you just have to hire bodies to, to make sure and, uh, and follow up with those folks. Is that Correct. Is, right. is that on your radar? Is that is that your is that your plan? Yeah, you you know you kind of you kind of increase it slowly. I mean, you really have to when you're building it, Toby. You really have to keep a close eye on your budget, number one, and you have to make sure that you know your what what you're spending is increasing you know the results. So it it sounds easy on paper to to break it down like you just did, but you know we we, we try to increase slowly. So you know every year we'll we might increase a thousand to two thousand in our budget. To increase as long as we have the capability of staying in touch with them properly got it okay and and, and so uh, for your team mem- members i mean is this is is uh are, are they ever in the field or should i come work for you and sit at my desk and and just have the leads have the glenn gary glenn ross leads come across my desk <laughs> well that's that's a challenge i have you know i obviously you know the it's more it's it's pretty profitable when we have the agents you know, work, their, work our leads properly, close them, but also get their own leads. You know, they get referrals. They get, you know, people they come across. Some of them do open houses now and then, and they collect a good amount of leads that way. Um, you know, but, you know, we, you know, with that being said, we do have a couple that kind of just hang around there and wait for the, the golden nugget to be thrown away. Right. <laughs> Unfortunately. Yeah. But, yeah. Yeah. Well, how do you handle those? I mean, when, when do you, when do you, you know, uh, we've all heard that saying, hire slow and fire fast. Um, right. you know, when do you start to get rid of some of that talent? Um, and, uh, you know, I mean, look, I mean, yours, I would, your shop is no, I don't know how many other, I've never talked to another person on this show that is doing this and just gives their people leads, gives them things to call. Yeah. I'm too nice of a guy, huh? You are, you are. <laughs> I wonder what your split looks like though. Well, the, the splits, you know, the splits are, are what they are. They're 50-50, and they don't, you know, they don't go above that. Got it. Okay. So um, they, they really can't, you know, to, to run the business the way we do. Yeah. Uh, they have the office location that we have, a, you know, street-level location that we get walk-ins to hire. You know, two, we could speak about the inside sales agents that I have. We, you know, that's two salaried positions, you know, that, that I pay for every week, regardless if we close or not. So, right. You know, the splits have to be, they have to be there or, or the system doesn't work. And, yep. you know, to be honest with you, no, nobody has an issue with it because they're all making money. So right. Absolutely. It comes down to, yeah. It comes down to how much money do you want to make? You know, that's, that's really comes down. So are you up there uh, off Del Mar Bluff? We're, we're, we're actually on La Jolla Boulevard in La Jolla. Oh my gosh. Wow. What a right. great place. All right. So look, so let, let's talk about productivity, right? So you, again, you, you have this automated system. It seems like you're just living the life. You know, what is, how do you stay focused on a day-to-day basis? You know, how do you know when to scale up? And you know, you know what I mean? Like, 
Yeah, it's a challenge. You know, I mean, every you know, I, I I do work quite a few hours, but you know, a lot of it's you know really tweaking the marketing, making sure the inside sales. You know, my big push is to really really keep on top of the inside sale inside sales agents that we have to make sure that they're making all the calls in the proper way. So we have certain scripts that we go by, and you know, and you know, when I'm in the office, I'll hear them veer off of the script, and I could see when they lose the buyer or seller on the phone. And then, you know, it's a little huddle at that point. We'll sit down and we'll, we'll go through the script and role play for about 10, 15 minutes and get them back on track. Got it. So really it's a constant, yeah, it's a constant, uh, constant training. So, you know, look, it, for somebody, you know, my audience is really mixed. Now, I have people that do, you know, $50 million a year on the show. I mean, not, not on the show, listening to my show in our audience. And, and we have a lot of people who are, um, you know, who, who are aspiring or just getting their licenses. You know, what, what can you tell those people? I mean, we've talked a lot about lead gen, uh, which, is, which is awesome and lead conversion. But what can you, you know, what kind of nuggets can you draw, give these guys just kicking their career off? You know, if you're starting, I mean, when you're first starting off in real estate, bar none, the best way to start is to sit your butt in an open house. There's no doubt about it. It doesn't cost you any money. It costs you a little bit of time. But if you do a good open house in a good location, put up a, put up a lot of signs, you know, 50 signs, do the open house from 9 o'clock to 5 o'clock, not 1 to 4 like every other agent does. Right. You can have about 30 people walk through your open house. You can have 30 people. Out of those 30 people... I can guarantee three to five of them are real buyers. Now, it's just a point of how good you are at converting them. So, you know, without a doubt, for the brand new starting agent, 100%, just be open houses. That's what I would do. Let me break in here with a message from our sponsor. Our sponsor, Discover Publications, will create a customized, branded, 12-page newspaper that will be sent out to your farm and sphere. Now, this paper is cheaper than you think. For slightly more than the cost of a stamp, you can start sending out curated content and always stay top of mind. Never lose a deal again because that prospect just happened to forget that you were in real estate or misplaced your number. Go check them out at discoverpubs.com. Got it. I'll tell you, you know, uh, the new trend that I'm seeing, and I, maybe maybe it's not new for you, Dennis, but uh, the new trend is like to do these mega open houses, you know, that are 3 p.m. to 7 p.m., you know, yep. catered food, all that stuff. I mean, I, I, a lot of people are getting a lot of success with that. Yeah, my buddy Brent Gov up in uh, Sacramento. I don't know if you ever spoke to Brent before. No. Um, he's, actually, he's actually a guy who kind of came up with this mega open house idea. He's a, he's a Remax agent up there. And um, actually, he might be Keller Williams up in Sacramento. What's his but, name? Um, yeah, he, uh, Brent, Brent Gov, G-O-V-E. Got so it. he came up with that. Yeah, he's the one who came up with that kind of mega open house system. They use... Um, ugly yellow and black signs and you know you stick up 50 signs you do the long open house from nine to five you know and he and he kills it really yeah. i mean he that's really all he does he doesn't do any internet lead generation like i do where you know you spend eight thousand dollars a month generating leads and then calling them back he, he's strictly he hires agents on gets them out there in open houses that are good strategic locations puts up the signs and you know he's doing he's doing really big numbers up there yeah I look I've talked to some of those same guys and that's that's the same thing they they don't do web leads but they just they throw up they throw up uh, you know t signs they throw up these giant seven foot flags they they fly balloons yep. you know yep. and make it look like a you know a party and uh, and they you know <clears throat> so all right so um, Google pay per click that's your bit you've you've cracked that code. What about Zillow and Trulia? What about those kinds of internet leads? You know, so those, you know, there's, you know, the common, the, the average real estate agent out there really hates Trulia and Zillow, I think. I think that's the way it is. Okay. Uh, you know, and I was on that same page for a while. You know, they, they use our listings to generate leads and then they sell them back to us. So basically they use our product, you know, to, to sell us the leads back. But here, here's the truth of it. Like it or not, they're here to stay. They're not going to go anywhere, and they're only going to increase their market presence, really. So, um, you know, the way they work, really, is you pay. And we, and we just started doing a little bit just because, I, you know, I don't want to miss it. So I want to stick a little bit of budget into, into Trulia. And um, to be honest with you, it's not working bad. It's working pretty well. Uh, we had a $3 million buyer just come down last week, actually. So they're more like sign calls. It's not really where they go onto your website and sign up you know, as a lead, kind of like our other pay-per-click system, uh, the people will send you an email saying, hey, I saw this property. I'm interested in taking a look at it. Are you available? That's kind of how the truly a Zillow lead works out to be. 
Got it. Okay. Um, so would you, would, you know, for the new guy who, you know, let's say he, he scrapes together that five grand, right. At for his marketing budget. Um, how much, I mean, should he f- absolutely throw some at Zillow or just, just double down on Google pay-per-click? You, you know, I would do a mixture to be honest with you. I, I would do the majority. I, I would do like maybe 4,000, uh, towards pay-per-click. Th- this is if their that whole five thousand budget, Toby, is towards internet marketing. Yeah, so it is. Four thousand. Yeah. yeah, four thousand through to, for pay-per-click, and then I would put a thousand, thousand towards Trulia or Zillow. So I mean, look, I, I this is going to kind of be a crazy question, but so there's a new agent out there. You know, he's got a car; it's paid for. Um, he sells it. He sells it. He gets twelve grand for it. And he's going to put five thousand dollars of that twelve grand. <laughs> you know, how, what 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 do you think you can parlay that five grand into in terms of deals and money? Okay, so again, it get you know the the and this is where you know a lot of a lot of folks out there won't want quite grasp because they want immediate results. You know, we're in a very that's right immediate okay. imme- immediate result kind of culture. You know, in everything that we do out there. You know, you're on the internet, you want immediate immediate answers, and that's the way it works. So. You know, again, the average lead, like I mentioned, you know, they're you know they're about a year out. So if you spend a you know five thousand or a thousand dollars towards your internet marketing, again, the vast majority they're not going to be right now leads. So okay. you know, we're at the point where we've been doing it for so long, it's more consistent. Where the people from three three to five years ago are starting to come around now, believe it or not. Uh, that's kind of the way it works. And you know, Mitch down in Florida that we mentioned earlier, he's he's in the same boat. Uh, if you ask him, you know, a big chunk, I forget the exact percentage, but a big chunk of his leads, sales for the year are leads that are two years old. So that's kind of the way it works. So. <clears throat> yeah, and I didn't ask him, you know, so Mitch Mitch has been on the show before, and I'm actually, you are going to be on two different shows because I'm doing uh, I'm doing a thing where I get people, and I just talked about lead gen. So you're going to be on the regular show, and you're also going to be on this uh, this expert lead gen panel. Which is cool. Um, I'm glad that I'm glad that this this episode is working out for that. So look, you're online. I mean, you live online. Your business is online. What about social? Do you like? Do you utilize social at all? Or you know, I'm not a. People probably hate me, but I'm not a big believer in the whole Facebook social social thing. You know, I know a lot of people are, and they claim to have good results. I just don't see it. To be honest with you, you know, we have a Facebook page, but again, you know, I'm, I'm very. I'm very, very, you know, dollar conscious. So, you know, if I spend a thousand dollars, I know I'm going to get a hundred leads through my pay-per-click efforts because our landing pages are very good. Um, you know, if I spend a thousand dollars and having somebody, you know, do, do my Facebook page and do blogs and you know, add right. this, add that every day, I, you know, I pay them a thousand dollars. I don't necessarily think that's going to turn into a hundred leads. Right, I agree. Hey, is there? Um, is, 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 do you feel comfortable? Uh, and if you don't, that's okay. Do you feel comfortable uh, giving me the URL to one of your uh, landing pages? Well, if you go to my website, sellingsd.com. Okay. So it's www.sellingsd, yep. like San Diego abbreviated, dot com. And if you go on the left hand side, you'll see um, a whole bunch of locations. Okay. Okay. You'll see, you know, yep, I see touch, but Avi, 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 yep, if you click on any one of those locations, that's our landing page. Got it. Okay. I'll, I'll, so I'll, that, I'll go through this. Yep. yep that's, and that, that'll probably help a lot of people out there. You know, and it, again, a real big thing, and I see, I, I see agents that do very well out there with their, you know, typical real estate operation where, you know, they do open houses, they get referrals, all that. And then they try to get into the internet and then they call me and they're like, hey, my, you know, you know, you do well, I'm trying this internet thing, and it's not working for me. I feel like I'm throwing money out the window. You know, the first thing I do is I go to their site, show me your landing page, and they don't even know what that is typically. Yeah, right. Um, you know, but I'll click, on their, I'll click on their Google ad that they send to me, and it, again, it lands on their main page, you know, with their pretty face, and people basically, the consumer out there, they want immediate results. They have to go search around. If you're looking for a house in La Jolla, for instance, they have to go search around. Okay, where is it? Search homes. Okay, there it is. Click on that, and then they look for La Jolla. They have to do all these steps, and the you know the the consumer that wants that immediate information, they're not going to do that. They're going to click off your site. So it's really important. There's one thing I can stress for all the agents out there getting into internet marketing is to make sure that your landing page is specific to the location that they're clicking on. I love it. I love it. I and I I, I agree 100 percent with everything you said. I mean, we live in the world of Google. Like, when will my dog stop growing? 
and then I get the answer, right? I mean, you know, so for real estate, it's the same thing, right? How much can I get for 500 grand, 800 grand, a million bucks? Okay. Uh, so, so in terms of wrapping up, I'm going to, I'm going to ask you a question. I, I don't ask everybody, but, uh, but you, you're a pretty unique guy and it's this is <clears throat> we've covered a lot of ground here, but what is something I didn't ask you, but I should have asked you? Uh, you know, r- really, I mean, as far as, you know, I'm a big lead generation conversion kind of guy. And I think that's where, you know, the business is going. Um, you know, we, we didn't touch too much on the inside salesperson. I think that's a real critical, critical aspect of, uh, you know, a, a big lead, internet lead generation kind of operation. And an inside salesperson basically is somebody that, that's on salary and their whole job is just to call back leads day in and day out, eight hours a day. Got it. Using your scripts. Using my scripts. Uh huh. Okay. Yep. And that and that way, you know, that way the leads don't fall through the cracks. I mean, that's the big thing. Yep. And then yeah, and, and throw them in Zerpl. Yeah. Well, would exactly. you would you recommend that service, Zerpl? Uh, you you know, it, it they're very, and I'm not going to talk bad about them. They're very good at very good at certain things and not so good at other things. That's all. You know, just like any other uh, website, but. You know, without a doubt, we'll we'll never get rid of them. By far, that's the best babysitter of leads I've ever seen in my life. Got it. And, and meaning by babysitter is it automatically emails them, you know, consistently based on their behavior. So if you're looking, again, at, you know, a certain house in La Jolla six times yesterday, it's going to send you a specific email for that one house that you looked at. And it's going to come in your inbox, and you're going to notice it because you just looked at it six times. Yeah. Yep. Okay. Uh, okay. So we're going to wrap up here. Uh, with three more questions. Um, so I'm an aspiring agent. I have 25 bucks. I need to buy a book. What book should I go buy today? Well, you could buy my book that I, I wrote. I didn't know you had a book. <laughs> what is it? Yeah, we, I have a book. It's called um, In It to Win It. So it's, it, it, was, it, it was a collection of different experts in f- different fields and um, I was chosen by you know Tom Hopkins to to basically write the uh, internet lead generation for real estate section in that book. Uh, so if I'm going to look for it, so is it Tom Hopkins or is it Dennis D'Souza? Uh, it, 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 it's probably under Tom Hopkins, but it, it's called In It to Win It. So um, pretty good. Hit the Amazon bestseller. I think it hit number two for uh, Amazon bestseller list. You know, probably about two years ago when it came out. Got it. Now, are you making any money off this book or no? No, not really. This yeah. is just to uh, try to help agents out there. Uh-huh. That's, How cool! You know, that struggle with internet lead generation. Yeah, that's cool. Well, so it is. So it, it being a Tom Hopkins, it's probably on Audible. And if anybody wants a free copy of this book, uh, just go to audibletrial.com slash superagentslive, and uh, you can get a free Audible copy. Um, so you being a techie, Dennis, do you have an internet tool like an Evernote that uh, that you can sh- that you that you love that you can share with the audience uh, other than Zerple? Uh, you, you know, we, we use Real Estate Webmasters, which is our, our landing page uh, that I shared with you earlier, that Selling SD website. Uh, they're very, very expensive, but they're very, very good as well. So, you know, that site that people are looking at, that, that's a good $20,000 plus into that site to develop it. It doesn't look like it, but it is. You know, oh, no, no, no. It looks great. Yeah, it's just, you know, every, everything's customizable. Landing pages are specific. We've tested dozens and dozens of landing pages over the years and by far this one just generates the best so i would never ever change it got it um yeah. in terms of a personal habit I mean, look you're 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 a super successful guy man you're gonna you're gonna do a hundred million dollars this year uh in your sleep because you have this system set up but do you have any personal habits that you feel have contributed to your success well it's just you know i'm very very detail oriented uh and i think that's I think you, when, you, when you're spending that kind of money, I think you need to be, or you can lose it very quickly. So, right. you know, agents could go out there not really minding their, you know, their budget and where the money's going. You know, they could be doing very well with, with, their, with their real estate business without the Internet strategy. And, you know, then they'll throw 2000 at the Internet. It's not really working, but they're still making money doing their other things. So they're kind of missing the boat as far as what they could be doing with that $2,000 as far as PPC money goes. Got it. Cool. Well, Dennis, hey, man, uh, thanks for coming on the show. Let everybody know where they can find you, and we'll sign off. Sounds good. Thanks, Toby. Appreciate talking to you. Wait, hold on. How can people reach you? Oh, well, if they want to reach me, they <laughs> yeah. can they could, <laughs> they, could, they could email me at Dennis, D-E-N-N-I-S, at selling, S-E-L-L-I-N-G, S-D.com. Awesome. 
Awesome. And, and I'll be happy to I'll be happy to share any, you know, any tools or any advice that I can give with folks. That is great. And look, and you know what, even if you don't need uh, any questions uh, from Dennis, uh, you know, reach out and say hello, say thank you for coming on the show. So Dennis, for me, thank you so much and I look forward to meeting you. I mean, we're right down the road. Hey, let's do it. All right, okay. bud. See ya. Thanks, Toby. Yep. Bye. Let's go.